Hi, this is Brent with Emotiva Audio, and in this video, I'm going to walk through some basic troubleshooting steps you can take if you encounter the error message that Direct Live is not available in your Emotiva processor when you're trying to run Direct Live. One very common question that we get from customers trying to run Direct Live is uh, either what to do or what it means when you navigate to your speaker preset and next to the Direct Live option, you get a message that says not available. This does not mean that Direct is not active or licensed or ready to run on your processor. The not available message simply means that your processor is not seeing the external Dirac interface computer connected to the same network that your processor is connected to. This can either happen just because you either forgot to connect or boot up that external interface computer or if the processor itself is not connected to the network appropriately. So one of the first things I look at if I get that error message is the network portion of the setup menu of the processor. And so that's where I'm gonna go first. And I want to make sure that in almost every single uh, basic home network installation that this option for DHCP is marked with an X. We want DHCP to be enabled because that is the protocol that allows your processor and network to automatically uh, have an IP address assigned to your processor. And here, I see what looks like a valid IP address, my processor's on the network. I will note that if you remove the X from the DHCP box and then navigate back to the left to have that refresh, if you unmark DHCP, you may still see what looks like a valid IP address, um, the 192.168.1, and then ending in 127. This is a false IP address that is the default IP of the processor when it leaves the factory. That does not mean that your processor is properly on the network, only when you mark DHCP with the X, and then we'll navigate back to the left, we see the processor pull uh, what looks like a valid IP address from the network. If your processor is not on the network, the IP address field will read 0000, so all zeros for the four IP uh, number fields in the IP address with DHCP uh, checked. So if you have DHCP marked and your IP address is giving you all zeros, that means that your processor is not communicating with your network. And there are a couple of things that can cause that to happen. First, on the processor, and this is rare, uh, fairly common, um, if you are seeing an IP of all zeros, uh, what can happen is that if the processor was booted down fully using the main power switch on the back and then rebooted without a wait time of at least 30 full seconds with the processor fully powered down, then the network port may not properly initialize when it's booted back up. So the first thing that I'll do if I see an IP address of all zeros on my processor is I will cut the main power using the rocker switch on the back of the processor and I often tell people just to make sure to wait for one full minute but 30 real seconds is long enough then reboot the processor using that main power switch. Uh, once it is booted, navigate back to this network menu, uh, ensure that DHCP is marked, and see if you have pulled an IP address. If that does not work, I also suggest pulling the power to your router and or modem to fully reboot those devices as that can also help uh, reset that network connection with your processor. Another indicator that may or may not tell you whether your processor is, is properly uh, initializing and getting on the network is to look at the orange and or green activity lights on the physical ethernet network port on the back of the processor. Um, this does not always tell us conclusively whether or not the ethernet port is working or not, but it can be another indicator that's good to note in case you are unable to get your processor to pull an IP address from your network, please contact us for support and we can work uh, to get your processor communicating with your network. So moving on, if you still have a not available message for Dirac Live, but you have verified that your processor is 
on the network with DHCP marked as enabled, pulling an IP address that is not just zeros that may look something like this, uh, the 192.168 format is very common for home networks. Um, then there are a couple of other things that may prevent the processor from properly communicating with the external direct interface computer. One thing I'll note is that if that external interface computer has been left plugged in and powered on for an extended period of time, and by that I mean even more than just several hours overnight, or if you know, you've had it plugged in for months in between when you've run your Dirac filters, unplugging that external interface computer, uh, waiting for a minute, and then plugging it back in to reboot that external interface computer may also get your processor and that interface computer communicating well again. All right, so we, we've kind of checked our network settings on the processor, made sure we have an IP address, and then I'm gonna navigate back to my speaker preset and check to see uh, if Dirac Direct Live is, is available. I still see not available, and so my next step is going to be to reboot the external Direct Interface computer. Okay. So I just pulled the power, waited for one minute, and then plugged back in the external Direct Interface computer. After giving it a couple minutes to boot, you may need to navigate all the way out of the speaker preset and then back into the speaker preset so that your enable box is now available. At this point, my processor is on the network, the external direct interface computer is on the network, and so now that those two devices are communicating, I'm able to mark the enable box with an X in my processor and can now move to open the direct live software and proceed from there. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope this video was helpful in overcoming the direct live not available error in your Emotiva processor. From everyone here at Emotiva, happy listening.